you're from Amazillo and you have a package delivered to my address? And there's suspicious activity? Oh, I'm so glad you called me and you want my bank card? Oh, okay, just let me get you that. I'm known as Scam Granny on YouTube. Don't fall for the scams and I am declaring April Fool's Day Scammer Awareness Day and all of April Scammer Awareness Month. Don't be fooled, don't be fooled. And my YouTube channel is Zelda Zelda. You can look up Scam Granny under Zelda Zelda. Just look for some of my videos. I, I love getting them and entertaining. I change outfits. Scam Granny likes to play dress up. Ay ay ay. I even had cataract surgery. Not Cadillac, but cataract. <laughs> ay ay ay. I want to tell you about a new scam. Scammers are pirates. And if you think this video is silly, that's the purpose. But you're here watching it. This is where I set up and I sit and I scam the scammers. Everybody all around the world is getting scammed. So be careful. Ten cuidado. The only way that we can stop it is by educating everybody. I get calls every day, sometimes three, four a day, sometimes starting at seven in the morning and they sound like legitimate calls. When I get a call from them, I tell them, hello. They ask for my name. I give them some kind of crazy name and I am keeping those scammers on the line so they're not calling your loved ones. So this is the only way we can fight back. Scam Granny on YouTube. Zelda, Zelda, watch me on YouTube because I will teach you how not to get scammed. Scam Granny and April Fools! Please join me in the fun! Oh! Hello! It must be my good friend calling me. There's a new thing because of COVID. You wipe out all my debt. Debt free for life. Oh, I'm so glad you called me. I scammed him for an hour and a half for total debt relief. He told me he was in San Diego and uh, I asked him about Las Colinas and he says, oh yeah, that's a real nice place. But I knew better. I was a sheriff's deputy and I used to work at Las Colinas Women's Prison. So <laughs> it's not a nice place. <laughs> so I knew he was lying. How much did the pirate pay to have his ears pierced? A buccaneer. Chips Ahoy! That's the kind of cookies they eat. But I want to tell you about a new scam. And I want to tell you about the iPad scam. Arrgh! One day, my friend was on his iPhone and he got a message. Fill out this survey and you get a free iPad. And he filled it out. And all he had to pay was $3.99, $3.99 for shipping and handling. But he filled it out and he sent his $3.99. They had his bank account and ay ay ay, the only iPad he got was an iPad because he was angry. He didn't get no iPad. He got his money stolen from his bank because they had his account. So. Don't fall for these pirates. Ay, ay, ay. They are sharks out in the ocean. You notice that my, my social insecurity account has gotten fraudulent. You're going to stop sending my checks. Oh, it's the, oh, it's the utilities company. Yes, I see that they're calling from the utilities company. And you're going to shut my power off in a few minutes if I don't send you $900. And I got to go to the store and buy one of those gift cards and read you off the numbers. Because if you wait till Monday, it's going to be $1,900 instead of $900. This is a true story. What? You're from the tax resolution people? And I'm getting free? You're going to stop? I don't have to pay taxes from here on out? Whippy! Not! Those are lies. These people are scamming you because it works. They are getting millions and millions of dollars a month, sometimes millions a week. And they are taking money from people who can least afford it. They're scared. 
they haven't got paid, their rent is due, their power is out because they haven't paid their power. And it's just sad because they are preying on unsuspecting people who can least afford it. And I know at least six people that we are friends with who have lost thousands of dollars. One lady lost 800,000 on Facebook when she posted on Facebook that she was a lonely widow and an army general who was overseas, promised to marry her. She sent him over 800,000. She's penniless now. Anyway, don't fall for the scams. And I am declaring April Fool's Day and all of April, Scammer Awareness Month. Don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Don't be caught by a pirate or anybody. They use American voices. It was pretty sad to know that my friend, 90 years old, almost had a heart attack because she believed the caller was real and her daughter had been injured in a car accident up in Canada and she thought, her daughter's not up in Canada. But she called her daughter and realized that she had been scammed. I'm reaching out to you to share my video, inform your friends. I'm not looking to make money on this. In fact, if I do make any money, I promise to help those who have been scammed. And I have nothing better to do than to waste the scammers' time. And you can too. That's the only way we can fight back is waste their time. Take your time. That's what, when it, they tell you to go get your credit card and they tell you to take your time, you know for sure it's a scammer. Take your time. Take some time. And don't give them your credit card. Don't give them any information. Nothing. Nothing is free. I promise you. You will get scammed if you do. So don't do it. Go with God and be careful. Thank you. And if you think this video is silly, that's the purpose. But you're here watching it. And do you know why the pirate wore a red shirt? He was sailing on the seas with all his ships. And there were some other pirates out after his booty because he had a big behind. Or oh, actually it was his bounty. Ha ha ha. But anyway, they started shooting arrows. So he says, I mateys, go down and get my red shirt. I captain, why would you want the red shirt? Because when they see me shoot me, getting holes and stab marks, they won't see the blood running. Captain Scurvy, they're coming with cannonballs. I, while ye at it, bring me my brown pants too. <laughs> Arg! They wanted to know how the captain lost his leg. A scurvy, scully pirate. Out to get my booty, I walked him down the plank, and I got me foot caught in a knot hole. And I couldn't pull it out, so they had to do it in a hurry. They cut me leg off. Aye, captain. But how did you lose your hand? In a sword fight. He cut me hand right off. I understand, sir. Oh, that must have hurt. Yeah, but what really hurt was my eye. Well, how did that happen? Well, I was looking, and there was some white goddesses flying in the sky, known as seagulls. I think they're the sea girls, but one of them pooped on me eye. Right on me eye. And it was the first day I had my hook. 